What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a treat for you. We have Ryan here with uh, Advanced Fuel Dynamics and we are actually working on this 2009 WRX. Um, I'll go ahead and let, turn the camera to Ryan and let him talk about what we've got going on here today. Uh, yeah, so we're working on a, a new release here with HP Tuners. So this is uh, equipped with our flex length setup and with the new patch uh, for the Subarus, we'll now have full flex fuel support for the Subarus uh, tuning uh, through the HP Tuner software. And so we're doing our, uh, our uh, first uh, dyno pulls uh, today with that. Cool, so we've got the car strapped down, we've got all the information in the dyno, and we're gonna go ahead and make our first tugs. guys so now you can see what those three runs made runs were done in fourth gear so now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some E in it and see where it ends up so we popped the tank open poured some E in it and uh, now we're going to uh, connect the logger and see what our content is. We're gonna let it run for a minute and then we'll show you a cool feature uh, that's gonna come with this setup. And that's the ability to Bluetooth to your phone and read your ethanol content live. We're already showing 55%. So as you can see right here, oh, with the focus. Yeah, sitting at 55% ethanol. I'll walk over here. Yeah, that's what we're seeing in the car. So as you can see, the ethanol content's going up now that the car is running live on the phone. So go ahead and get this thing back up to operating temperature and make our make our tug on E. Alright guys, as you can see, quite impressive gains. We were at 64% uh, ethanol content before the run. Yeah, 67 at the end. Yeah. yeah. So, let this thing cool off and cycle a little bit more. We'll make two more runs and uh, then we'll get an average for you guys. So we got it to blend for a little while and we got our content up. We'll check it again, but we'll go ahead and make our second and third runs now.
Okay, so as you can see, we finished up our last run, six runs total. We did three runs with pump gas in it, and then we did three runs with the 85. Um, just to recap with this car, it's an 09 WRX, five-speed manual. It's got an aftermarket downpipe on it, 1,000 cc injectors. That's it. Um, the car has been flashed with HP tuners, and all that has been done is the injectors have been sized and that information put into the ECU. That is it. There's been no tuning done other than that. So the numbers that we're seeing, that's what the car would be stocked with stock injectors. We just have it calibrated for the larger injectors. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Ryan so he can explain a little bit more about the system that's on the car, just to recap. Yeah, great. Um, so yeah, so the car, like like JD said, 1,000 cc injectors. It also has an AEM fuel pump upgrade. We want okay. to make sure uh, the fuel is taken care of. Uh, and so with the FlexLink system for this, we integrate in the fuel sensor and the plug and play wiring required to get the ethanol content into the ECU. And we're using the HP tuners, uh, um, their new release for the software. Like I said, this is the beta, this is the first test. Uh, and what it's doing is it's taking the ethanol content uh, from our system and uh, it's remapping it based on the ethanol content. So it's uh, gonna give the users the ability to adjust every parameter you want based on ethanol content from fuel, timing, boost, cam timing, uh, and, and more. So all we did today was that part of the software is set up and so we added ethanol just to make sure everything was working and we saw what was our gains? Uh, quite substantial. I'll actually grab the camera here. I mean, <clears throat> the runs that I have pulled up here are the best run that we made on pump gas, which was 203 horsepower, 244 foot-pounds of torque, and then our best run on ethanol, which was 266 horsepower and 339 foot-pounds of torque. So, I mean, you can see substantial gains over the entire pool. Um, right here, we're... You know, the Subaru is making peak torque at around 3,700 RPM. You know, we're dealing with almost, uh, what's that, 80? Yeah. About 80 foot pounds difference. And I mean, different areas throughout, you're, you're seeing, uh, let's see, a horsepower. Yeah, gains all the way across. So. All the way to red line. So. So we looked at the numbers and the proofs in the pudding. This stuff really, really works. It's still in the early stages. It's only gonna get better from here. So uh, Ryan, if you could let the uh, fans know where they can get in touch with you or find out more about your product. Yeah, uh, you can find us at advancedfueldynamics.com. Uh, we got lots of information there about E85 and flex fuel technology. That's where our expertise lies. So if you have more info on our products, reach out to us or JD can steer you our way too. Absolutely. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.